and welcome to learn ADS in five minutes. This is tutorial 23 on getting started with ADS layout. So we will start our um, discussion where we left in the last tutorial and that's where we, we created a new layout and we use the standard ADS layer technology and that's how we have this layout window for us. Now, before we start working in layout, you could configure the UI and the options um, such as these toolbars or these windows on left and right to, to set it as per your preference. So to activate or deactivate anything, we could just simply right click anywhere in the empty area in the toolbar. And these are the windows. So anything about this horizontal lines are typical the window or the palette which you see on the left or right of my layout screen you know, currently. Anything which is bottom to this uh, line is basically the, the subgroups or the toolbar groups and you can activate and deactivate the groups which you want in order to have just enough uh, buttons here to maximize your design area and not overload your working area with a lot of toolbars which is unnecessary for your job. Now to start with, uh, personally I like to prefer having a navigator window on the left hand side and I can right click again and the layers window. So these three windows, as you can see, the tabs at the bottom, the parts of the standard library components in ADS library. And you can see this library palette is far more reduced compared to what you used to have in the schematic, because these are the components which have a footprint which can be used in the layout largely. In the navigator window, we should be able to see all the net information. And if you are using net-based mode, every time we draw interconnect or, or draw a path, will have a certain net name and all those will start appearing here. If you have imported a design from Cadence, Mentor or Suken or via ODB++ or direct BRD import, all the net information which you have in your original file will also start appearing here. So it makes it easy for you to look for any specific net in your design which you may want to analyze. The layer window here will give you capacity, you know, capability to enable or disable switch on the visibility of each layers as you go along to better understand your design. Now remember we used a standard ADS layer technology when we created this workspace and the layout. Hence what you're seeing here are the typical ADS standard layers. But if you're using any particular foundry PDK or library, you will have layer settings as per that particular you know, foundry uh, technology. On the right hand side, there are you know, a couple of important windows. One is property window, which will allow you to see the property of anything which you have drawn in the layout and all the information related to it. And differences from a schematic is like live LVS, which will do real time design sync and keep notifying you any differences between your schematic representation and the, and the layout representation. So we will use some of these features as we go along into different tutorial videos and you would be able to appreciate what are the usefulness of all these windows and options. Now, in order to make your layout, you have a couple of options. One, you could use these standard library blocks or the pellets uh, such as micro strip lines, and you can select the component which we want to use in your design. For example, I can pick this emblem and it immediately comes up with a property box. And for a line, you could define a width and a, and a length. For example, I can define the width as 0.2 mm. I remember mm is the default technology we selected during last tutorial video. And the length, for example, is 6 mm. And once we click apply and OK, uh, I have a line which is representing the dimension. So when I click, you can see a line is placed with that dimension. Now I can go ahead and keep placing these lines. So let me place five lines. And now I have five lines with the default definition. I can double click on any of the lines and change the property again. For example, here, I can go ahead and make it 6mm by 6mm line, and suddenly you will see a big line. And now ADS will start um, you know, warning you that um, the changes which you did had uh, moved certain objects, and that's fine. If you don't want to see this again and again, let's click on don't show. And now I'm going to go ahead and modify the property of the other line and make it 6 by 6 mm line as well. So if you notice from a typical RF perspective, this is like a classical low pass filter kind of layout. 
these thin lines are representing your inductors and these thick lines are representing shunt capacitor. So if you recall one of the earlier videos, we talked about a schematic low pass filter representation. This is the distributed equivalent of that low pass um, having three series inductors and two shunt capacitors for us to perform our analysis. So in the next tutorial video, we will look at uh, you know, how to set it up for simulation and how to get started with our electromagnetic simulation in ADS. And uh, further down the video line, we will also talk about what are the other ways uh, we could use to draw our layouts in ADS by using some of these freehand drawing tools to, to create anything which we want uh, for, for our uh, you know, layout design. So for this video, that's enough and look forward to see you next video. Thanks for watching.